Hey everybody, Al here. Uh, I'm at Merchants Crossing, Monday Night Cruise, and I'm with John. has got a really cool 57 Chevy he wants to show us. The 1957 Chevy 210. Uh, it, it's been completely rebuilt and modified from the tires up. Wow, really cool. All right, let's take a look around. Okay. Yeah, you know, I don't know much about these Chevys, but uh, I would say it looks like a Bel Air. It has a uh, plenty of chrome on it. It's the same body, but the difference is the chrome around the windows and down the post uh, and down the front post. More, more chrome for the Bel Air. Nice. This is a lesser expensive car coming out of the factory. Okay, I see it now around the windows. Wow, and, and look at that, how you, how you got the wheels tucked in underneath there like that. I had to actually modify the frame and move the spring, leaf springs in underneath the frame to accommodate the width of the tires. Wow, that is really cool. And uh, Florida antique plates. Well, nice exhaust tips. I like them. They, uh, they appeal to me. I think they look great. Good look at the side of the car. The black is so deep. It looks perfect in every way. I spent a lot of time getting the bodywork right on that. You don't paint a car black unless you're comfortable that the body is 100%. And it looks like you got a lot of work into this interior. The interior actually uh, is a lot, a large combination of work that I performed myself. The console I built myself. The back seat was narrowed by me, and then armrest put in, and then I hired uh, Brian Lingenfelder here in Cape Coral, and he put uh, 30 pitches that I had given him together. Uh, with all of the different stitching and the patterns and and he did all of the work. That's, that's quite a talent. He's, he's an extremely talented young man. I really like that gauge cluster. Yeah, that, that was new the year that I bought it, which I bought the car uh, six years ago, uh, right out of a junkyard. And uh, the first thing that I owned be, to put into the car was the instrument panel and that cluster of gauges. And uh, the, you've got some electronics in the car? Uh, the, the radio actually has uh, the potential for a backup camera, uh, GPS, uh, and stereo AM, FM, uh, CD, and uh, Nice piece. Added value. It's nice. And what do we have under the hood? It's a 350 great engine. Uh, it has uh, a mild street cam in it and a Holly 770 carburetor and a Griffin radiator and uh, air conditioning. Uh, it's from Vintage Air. An absolute must here in Southwest Florida. Yes, it is. Wow, that's a that is one healthy looking radiator. Yeah, it has the uh, the evaporator for the uh, air conditioning, chrome uh, aluminum, and uh, the chrome boxes for the radiator. And speaking of chrome, your bumper looks perfect. They used to call refer to this car as the uh, Cadillac Junior uh, <laughs> because of the amount of ca uh, chrome on the car. What do you say we start it up? All right. Okay, let's do it.
<laughs> okay. Coyote car guy over and out. How about that for a cool ride? John's uh, 57 Chevy. The black paint on that car was so smooth and so deep, I've never seen anything like it. Really nice. And the work on the interior, uh, I have to say, is among the nicest interiors I've seen yet. So the folks who did that work, really, really good job. Um, my experience uh, with Mike and his young lady is not one I'll soon forget. You can just see the love all around. They love the cars, they love the shows, they love being there, they love everything about it. it gets you right here. Makes me feel good. Uh, this car thing is my passion, it's my hobby, and this is what it's all about for me. And I particularly love bringing it to you guys in YouTube land. So, power to you, John, nice car, love it. Uh, I've had a, a, a host of new subscribers come on to the channel lately, so thanks guys. There's always new content coming. Keep checking back, uh, see what we got going. So um, until next time, uh, when we see you out at the shows, just keep in mind when you're looking at the videos, click that like button, thumbs up, it's all good. Coyote Car Guy, over now.